Can Apple take the crown for the best performance laptop on the market? We are going to answer this question, and a lot more in the following paragraphs, but first we want to talk about why this device is really special. Usually, manufacturers rely on Intel or AMD when it comes to processors and AMD and Nvidia for their graphics cards. The truth is, Intel was in its own league for a long time, and this led to only incremental upgrades being made. Of course, Apple didn't like that. The result of this is the M1 chip. And now, it has found its way to the 16-inch MacBook Pro and is more powerful than ever. Do you know what is interesting? The laptop feels clunkier than it actually is. There may be a ton of reasons for that, but we feel that the main one is the rounded corners on the bottom panel, as well as the size of the keyboard deck. Nevertheless, the MacBook Pro 16 is only 17mm thick and weighs 2.2kg. Also, it is extremely well built. Looking at the keyboard, the typing experience isn't something super impressive as other people would tell you. Yes, it is miles better than the ill-fated butterfly one, but a regular ThinkPad will offer a much more pleasant experience in our view. However, it is surrounded by a couple of speaker grills, which are just part of the astonishing six-speaker setup. Despite definitely having the space, Apple picked not to provide a regular-size USB port. On the bright side, the three Thunderbolt 4 connectors are paired with an SD card slot and an HDMI connector. Plus, the charging now happens through the MagSafe slot, instead of a Thunderbolt 4 port. However, having no USB type of ports is not the worst thing about the laptop. Unfortunately, there is no option to expand either the memory or the storage. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. The display was a big talking point when Apple released this product. Its backlight comprises 10,216 mini LED spread across 2,554 local dimming zones, which provide a very appealing image, resembling the deep blacks of an OLED panel. It is able to reach up to 1600 nits in HDR mode, and about 500 nits in SDR. As always, the manufacturer has done its homework. There are a ton of color profiles meant for work with web content, professional photography, and even cinema. This task, of course, is made significantly easier, since Apple has full control over the software, which allows for better integration of the hardware. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Another advantage of that is the efficiency. Combined with the low-power M1 chips, the laptop manages to last for more than 22 hours of web browsing, or nearly 16 hours of video playback. This is absolutely groundbreaking. As you know, the highlight of the latest MacBook Pros is the M1 Max SoC. It has 8 performance cores, 2 efficiency ones, and 32 core beastly graphics cores. When it comes to pure performance, it copes really well with the top-tier competition from Intel and AMD. In some cases, the latter duo has an advantage, but Geekbench 5's results are in favor of Apple. What was more impressive, however, was the graphics performance of the M1 Max. In synthetic benchmarks like 3D Mark's Wildlife Extreme, it beats the 130 watts RTX 3060. And when we consider real-life gaming, things get even more interesting. Rise of the Tomb Raider runs pretty similarly on the M1 Max, compared to the 100 watts RTX 3080. Yes, gaming on an Apple device is not that common, but the results are still very impressive. On top of that, the fans were barely spinning. This is probably the biggest advantage of owning a 16-inch MacBook Pro these days. Absolute comfort during any kind of load. This allows you to have a proper online conversation, while you are rendering a huge video project. Without a doubt, the M1 Max is the most powerful chip ever to be put on a MacBook. Wow, this sounded an awful lot like Apple itself. Let's paraphrase, the M1 Max is the best all-around laptop chip to be ever made. This makes the MacBook Pro 16 one of the best laptops money can buy. If you are a professional, you will definitely take advantage of the amazing display, while the battery life and the speakers will simply make you a whole lot happier. We have to say though, that we're not big fans of the notch above the display, nor the lack of USB type of ports. 
Thankfully, a simple $20 dongle will fix this issue. What can't be easily fixed though, is the lack of upgrade options. Then again, this is Apple, and we weren't surprised whatsoever. Still, in our view, the advantages outweigh the quirks, and we feel that you should definitely invest in a MacBook Pro 16 if you are a professional. Should you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.